all right what's up y'all little update video for you guys unfortunately we are still in the civic not in the f80 just yet we should be back the shop said the engine looks clean they did a leak down test a couple cylinders came back sketch the others were good but they said it's just from carbon buildup on the intakes so looked at the valves they're all good um oil looked clean so that's good engine should be good they're doing a full refresh we're putting the turbos with the 40k miles on there so turbo should be pretty minty fresh brand new gaskets on the whole freaking engine so the dang thing should be about brand new besides the actual like freaking i guess not brand new but should last a damn good long time um while we're in there we are doing the crank hub which i'm stoked about it does suck because it's going to take longer because the part needs to come in um ssr it's a ssr four pin crank hub so we should be ready to make some freaking power with this thing we'll probably wait a little bit anyways but um yeah 85 station right up the street just call my name but it only costs like 500 bucks extra to do the crank hub while the engine's freaking apart and they're already pulling the oil pan off to do the oil pan gasket so there's pretty much no reason to not do it so this engine should hopefully be bulletproof as long as i take care of it um so i'm stoked on that but yeah it does suck um ssr said the part wasn't in stock comes in early this week still isn't shipped which is honestly annoying i think i ordered it on like friday uh, but they said they would expedite the shipping but yeah still not shipped and it's a wednesday so that's kind of obnoxious it's not in stock Just say it's not in stock on your website big brain move um but yeah we probably could have had the car back today ish but um it'll probably be two or three days after they received the crank hub and i'm about to go to oregon tomorrow morning for my grandma's funeral <laughs> so that's sick uh, but it will be cool to see family i haven't seen family up in oregon in ages um but yeah it's just been fucking weird recently so last week i haven't worked been able to work a weekend in well if we include this upcoming weekend three weeks which is crazy for me um so last weekend we went to go get the engine that was like a two or three day ordeal ordeal um last weekend was coachella which was fucking awesome i won't go on a whole spiel about coachella but um probably best performance was tyler create tyler the creator it was fucking sick just the whole show just flowed so well he spoke and he there were little like i wouldn't call it acting parts but like performative parts the music was good it was just a good ass show he brought out childish gambino asap rocky and Kali Uchis, which is very freaking cool. Uh, but yeah, just a bunch of great performances. I won't give you the whole spiel on it. I'm sure there's a million other people that have talked about it and have talked about it in the past. It's kind of the same thing every year, but with just different performers. But if you ever have the chance to go with some good friends, definitely do it. I mean, it's just fucking awesome. Um... But that was last weekend, so we literally left Wednesday night at midnight. Um, so I literally, I think I woke up at 5 that morning, like, worked through the day. Was, like, running errands throughout the day to get fucking camping stuff. I had to get a tent and all this stuff. We did the car camping, which I personally think if you go, you should do car camping. Like, it's just more fun that way. Like, our neighbors were cool, and I went with my buddy Dimitri. I've known for, like, ages and his little sister she's only 18 she this was her first coachella so it was cool to take her with um i don't remember what i said it's currently 8 19 i've been working since like five this morning wait oh yeah okay 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 okay, okay, okay. we were work uh i was working since five that morning and then we left at 12 midnight that night just freaking hitting red bulls and then you get there at like it's like a four hour drive from here um so i think we got there like four then we went to the store there 
and then they can't sir they can't sell you alcohol until 6 a.m it's like 4 30 or whatever so like setting up our wristbands put the car cam and sticker on the car and i think i fell asleep for a little bit and then i woke up and Dimitri's like you want to go <laughs> buy some alcohol like yeah we, we went in there and then we drove drive to the actual like festival the store's like in coachella the city or i don't know if, i think it's a city i don't know it's in indio i don't know if coachella is actual the city but whatever um A cop, just a weird Chevy SUV just lurking in the background. Uh, I'm trying to think, I'm just so excited to be able to make <laughs> like actual interesting videos again. I feel like I like making the update videos, but I enjoy having something to actually like do and exciting stuff to do. But it's just the way it is, definitely makes sense to do the crank hub while we're in there. But yeah, and saving the engine should help me kind of come out on top. Like, obviously, that put me far behind, but it still puts me further ahead, closer to where I want to be at fixing the engine because it kind of saves the cost and what I paid for the down payment for the car. So that's good. But yeah, uh, Coachella, 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 leave it to Bieber. Um... Where was I at? Oh, yeah. So you get there, and there's, like, a million people trying to get in. This, it was way better this year. Like, we were able to drive straight into the festival. Like, it's in, like, a, I don't know, whatever, like, four-acre, like, piece of land or, like, whatever. It's, like, a, like a one-mile block type situation that it's in. And before we had to wait, like, in a freaking stop-and-go line for, like, two miles out just trying to get into the festival to wait in the security line but this time we were able to get straight into the security line you sit for like my line wasn't too bad it was probably like 20 minutes but you're just sitting in your car listening to music before they like search your car they have freaking i don't know if they're drug dogs or weapon dogs you're not even allowed to bring like metal stakes in but they didn't really check your shit at least they didn't check my shit they literally like Oh, to my car. I had two glasses of coffee um, that I had to toss, which kind of stinks. Um, <laughs> they literally just tossed those, and she's like, all right, you're good. Uh, but, I mean, they have to get so many people in there. It kind of makes sense. It would take fucking ages if they're actually checking everybody's shit. So then you actually get into the festival. So this is, at this point, uh, this is a Thursday. And it's probably like... 10 a.m. by the time everybody gets to like security and freaking you actually drive to your car camping spot and um it's funny there's like two lanes in the right lane we're in the right lane and it's going to like the good car camping spot because it puts you closer to the festival so you don't have to walk as far every day and there's one lane like going to like a shitty spot and there's this like red older minivan and um with like the passengers wearing like a ski mask it just looks sketchy as fuck and I think they went like behind us like they cut the line which you're like not really supposed to do cause um somebody tried to cut in front of me like right where you make the turn off and the secu like, security lady was all pissed she's like ah, ah you're not supposed to be doing that yada yada uh but the minivan did it like farther back and I was like I didn't really think about it at the time. I was just thinking, like, yo, these motherfuckers look sketchy. But I wasn't even thinking about the fact that, like, yo, these are about to be our fucking neighbors. But we ended up getting our car camping in, like, an L shape, which was kind of a dumb move. It ended up working out sick because I think you get more room that way. But in our heads, like, as we arrived, we are like, fuck, we're supposed to get it, like, straight in a row. Because they're, like, it's, like, two rows. So we got an L shape. And so the, <laughs> the red minivan was, like, completed our square there but they were like the coolest motherfuckers ever it was just a bunch of like young kids um but their dad helped them set up camp and we like forgot zip ties and we had the shitty like flimsy metal stakes this dude's like let me know if you need stakes to hold down the easy ups and he brings out these fucking like a railroad 
fucking nails, like literally like an inch thick. He was like, here you go. And he had a bunch of fucking heavy duty zip ties. Like we would have been fucked without those. I don't even think they had them at the shop. So he would have been kind of screwed without those. So shout out to them for that. And they're like the chillest neighbors. Um, so yeah, then it's just, it's like Thursday's like the setup day. So then you literally just set up your camp and then you're just chilling all day, which is always like kind of boring. And I was like, I'm just always like so in work mode that I like I'm there on Thursday. And I'm like, oh, like, I don't even know if I want to be here that much, yada, yada. But then Friday comes along and you're like actually going to the festival and shit. And yeah, it's a good time. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. But I feel like even the very first time I went, it's like on Thursday, it's like, damn, this is kind of boring because you're just kind of like sitting there for like 12 hours because you've like set up camp and you're just tired and like you can only fucking sleep in like a freaking, you know, fucking tent and shit. But it's a good time. Also, if you're going, there are paid showers that you can go to. We didn't even know about this the first year, but you pay 10 bucks. Which in Coachella money is nothing. I paid twenty four dollars for two slices of pie, pizza, pizza pie, on the last day from Spicy Pies, delicious pizza pie. It was very worth it. But yeah, food prices and everything there is just it's like regular like Disneyland type shit. But there's paid showers that you can go to, absolutely worth the money. Because last year, like, the showers weren't that bad, but it's, like, just, like, a big old fucking pigsty type deal. Like, everybody has their own little corridor with, like, a shower curtain, but it just feels, like, fucking gross. But these ones are super nice. You have, like, your own little room. There's an actual mirror in there. You have your own little sink and, like, fucking place to put your shit. So we hit that every day. Shout out to some random girl that just told us about that. But... The very last day we woke up super late. It was probably like 1.30 and they closed at 2. And we were in line like hella far back. And the lady like running the thing walks up to us and she's like, uh, yeah, you guys definitely aren't going to make it. So I'd probably just <laughs> leave. And we're like, all right, dope. So after waiting in line for like 15 minutes for the showers, we got to go wait in the other line. Wait like another 15 minutes. We finally get in there. Bro, these showers were fucking <laughs> gross, bro. Like... They weren't, like, the shower itself wasn't that gross, and the water was at least warm. I remember last year, I took one shower and tried to make it warm, and it was just freezing cold the whole time. I felt like fucking David Goggins. But, um, this one didn't even have, like, a place, like, a, a table or anything to put your shit. And, like, you're bringing, like, all your, like, shampoo and conditioner and shit, like, in a bag or a clear container or whatever. And so you just have to set it on the fucking floor. So I wore flip-flops. And, um... So I don't get freaking athlete's foot or whatever. But it's just freaking gross. Like, just setting your shit on the ground. There's, like... Like, that's where the water goes. So, like, your water bag is just, like, filled with fucking water after that. Because you don't have anywhere to fucking put it. Uh, so, yeah. Not a fan of those showers. If you're spending all that money to go to Coachella, just spend the extra ten bucks a day. And freaking hit the nice showers. That's pretty much all that was interesting. Um, like, all the performances were pretty freaking sick. Lil Yachty's was real weird. I don't know if it was just his new music or that I didn't know, or he was just doing, like, a weird Coachella performance where, like, the the voice was real low. And I, I don't know what the fuck was going on. It was just a weird, weird performance the whole way through. It just seemed like the fucking mix was a little off. But, um... Yeah, all the other ones were pretty freaking great. I did get my phone stolen at Lowe's Evert. I think that was Saturday, maybe, or either Friday or Saturday. I think it might have been Friday. I was just leaving the crowd. I was following Dimitri and his sister. And I knew something was weird when this happened, but I didn't realize what had happened until, like, 30 seconds later. I'm sure they disappeared in the crowd. This fucking big old fat guy like tall fat guy he's like walking out of the crowd with me and he bumps into me which is normal like there's like a million fucking people there you're bumping into people every which way but he bumps into me and turns back around and like in my head for like a split second i'm like oh yeah that that was kind of weird what the fuck then like 30 seconds later i check my pocket for my phone i'm like fuck 
So got my phone stolen, which fucking kind of blows. Luckily, I got a new one yesterday, but I was without it the whole weekend. Of course, I need my freaking phone to work and just communicate. And the whole drive home, I'm just following Dimitri and his sister. And it's like rush hour traffic, and we're trying to stay together so I fucking know how to get home. I mean, I probably could have figured it out like once we like hit like the I-10 to Phoenix, but... Uh, yeah, that was a fucking pain in the ass. Uh, but apparently it's pretty normal. We met some dude last year that said he got his phone stolen. And then... I don't know if I should put this dude on blast. This is probably one of the funniest stories of the whole weekend. Uh, I mean, it probably doesn't matter. He'll probably never fucking see this shit. Um, yeah, fuck it, why not? Um, but this dude, it's like... We come back, it's the last night, Sunday night. And we're all, like, tired. Like, we've been walking all weekend. Like, my feet hurt. I have blisters all over my fucking foot. We're just, like, tired, tired. And me and Demetri are just shooting the shit. It's, like, in the dark. We didn't have a freaking tent light. Or I think we had, like, a headlamp. We were just using the light to tent up because we didn't get a tent light. We were just shooting the shit. And then all you hear is, like, intense crying. Like, intense, intense crying. And it's later we found out it's the tent, like, right next to me on the other side and like these tents they're like made out of freaking like just fabric so it's like it's like hearing someone intensely crying like just three feet away from you and uh i was like at first like i'm like empathetic about it i'm like oh that sucks like probably just broke up with his girlfriend or like someone he knows like died or something like that kind of crying like like something real bad went wrong so like all oh, that sucks but like I don't know, I'm tired and like I don't I, I've never spoken to this person so I'm not gonna, about to go over there and like I can knock on his tent and like console him or anything but I was like okay that sucks I feel bad then I wake up at like 7 in the morning Dimitri woke up too from this and bro's still crying and I couldn't go back to sleep so I'm just sitting there listening cause he was like kinda like talking to himself I think at night there was a girl in there that he was talking to because like every once in a while you would hear a response back but I think in the morning he was just talking like out loud just like to, to the world and um he's talking and he's like how could this ever happen yada yada like all my memories are gone how could anyone ever steal my phone and I'm like bro ain't no way you're this upset about getting your phone stolen like bro they're expensive any modern phone has cloud storage but like all your memories are still there bro literally all you need is a new phone and you're good bro like it, you won't even be able to tell the difference bro um but that was just crazy to me <laughs> like bro like the intensity and pain of this guy is like cries were as if like his whole family had been murdered just absolutely insane i kind of feel bad talking shit because like dude was fucking seriously crying but it's like bro it's it's a phone and we all fucking woke up because of it but yeah that that made the weekend a little bit more interesting so they should probably do like a fucking psa like hey you should fucking put your phone away now i know personally but for all the noobs, don't keep your fucking phone in your pocket. Put it in your backpack or whatever. At least make it fucking a little harder to get to. So I know that now. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Gonna leave tomorrow morning for Oregon. And then I will be back on Monday, I believe. Like Monday afternoon. And I'll finally be able to just work for a little bit. Like it's just been like traveling, 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 traveling. I'm ready to just have a little bit of fucking alone work time, make some freaking money time. But, um, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm excited to see family. Um, yeah, and fingers crossed, the F80 should be, I mean, it should be done either way early next week, but it'll be super fucking sick if it's done for Monday. But we should be whipping that thing soon. I just can't wait for that first drive with a good sound system. And an engine I know is not going to fucking blow up. It's going to be a hell of a feeling. 
And we're still damn close to the next car. I've put a lot of shit on credit cards, so I gotta pay that off first, but it's not anything more that I couldn't pay off in like a month, so. Um, I think like two months is probably realistic, maybe sooner, but somewhere in the near future, but with the F80 back, I'll just be beyond stoked to even have that thing, so. Um, I still think there's some cool mods we can do to that in the meantime, like, you could still use a front lip. Um, I saw a dang orange M4 on TEs earlier, too. It was freaking beautiful. Like, the metallic orange color on some, like, graphite TEs. Just such a sick car. I'm like, damn, I have one of those. It's kind of fucking crazy. But, yeah, I'm trying to think of what else. I have, like, a whole list of stuff. You still need to get an alignment. We could fix the cluster. Um, just little stuff at this point. I mean, most of the big stuff that I want to do to the car is already done. But I'm just excited to drive the damn thing. And we'll get some new mics for the POVs. Yeah, I'm excited. Thanks for watching the update. And I will catch you guys in the next video, which will hopefully be with the freaking M F80 M3. Fingers crossed. <laughs> All right, later. Yeah, I forgot to mention this as well. I fucking, um, so one of my earring backs broke. Like it was like a hoop where the screw goes in. One of the sides broke and I didn't have a replacement. So I just put it back on my ear and it got stuck inside my ear. <laughs> I'll throw up fix. So we got some new ones here, God bless. My mom had to do freaking surgery on my ear hurt like a mother fricker trying to pull it out hurt like a mother trucker on a butt cheek on a stick dude but um yeah <laughs> the fix up here is fucking disgusting but um yeah so my ears all fucked up so that's why we don't have earrings in right now but got some new backs so we should be back in business but figured i'd throw that in there later